Okay, here we go. We are looking at this right triangle here, um, and we're asked to find B. Uh, B is the longer leg here in this picture, and we're told specifically to use the slope ratio. So we want to find this side, and we're going to use the slope ratio. Now, at this point in the process, the only slope ratio that we knew was the slope ratio for 11 degrees. So the slope ratio for 11 degrees, and that slope ratio was 1 over 5. So this is something that you either need to like have in notes or have memorized. You, you probably can't solve the problem unless you know that. Now, looking at this, you might be, well, that's not going to be super helpful because if I'm looking at these, the angle in this triangle that's given is a 79 degree angle, and that is not 11 degrees. But what we can do is sort of see what this angle is, and you've probably already deduced what it's going to be based on the knowledge that we're bringing to the table. But we can figure this out because all angles in a triangle need to add up to 180. Um, so basically what we'll do is we'll take our 180 degrees and then we'll just subtract off the 90 and we'll subtract off the 79. So minus 79, minus 90, and that's going to tell us what this angle is worth. And you can certainly do that in your head. You can use a calculator. Here we go. We do 180 minus 79 uh, minus 90, and that brings us to 11 degrees, which is very fortunate here because that's the one that we know the slope ratio for. So this is an 11 degree angle. Now, you can do it from here, like from exactly what you're seeing, but what you might also want to do is just take this triangle and reorient it with the same pieces. So this is the right angle right here. This is the short leg. I just moved it. The reason I moved it is I wanted my 11-degree angle to be here just because at the beginning, that's kind of how we were looking at slope ratios. The acute angle was on the left, the um, right angle was on the bottom right, and that's how we saw it. This is the longer leg, so this is going to be right here as B. Right, these are corresponding sides. And then from here, all we do is we take the slope ratio that we know. The slope ratio for 11 degrees is 1 over 5. And then because it's a similar triangle, any, any slope ratio with 1 over 5, well, that's going to have an 11 degree angle, and it's going to have a 90 degrees. If it's a slope ratio, it's got a 90 degrees. Well, this one has the same thing, our 90 degree angle right there and our slope ratio of 11 degrees. So these triangles are similar from angle angle similarity. Because they're similar, that means their ratios, their um, side lengths are proportional. So if I take the slope ratio for 11 degrees, 1 over 5, that's going to exactly equal the rise over run ratio from this triangle, which is 7 over B. So then from here, I can solve with cross products. This is um, B times 1, right? And 7 times 5, and cross products are always equal. 1 times B is B. 7 times 5, well, that's 35. So that is my final answer. My final answer is 35. Now, uh, eventually we'll be using trigonometry, and then after you know more slope ratios, you probably don't even have to go through this process. So you definitely wouldn't solve it twice, but just to show you, if we went from here, if you also knew your slope ratio for 79 degrees, which eventually we did learn, so our slope ratio from 79 degrees, that is 5 over 1. We spent a lot of time actually talking about the fact that complementary angles which is what these are, they add up to 90, are going to have reciprocal slope ratios. So if we know the slope ratio for 79 degrees, we don't even really have to do any reorienting. We don't even have to find that 11 degree angle because that's the rise over the run for 79 degrees. And we can set that equal here to B over 7, the rise over the run in this particular triangle. Uh, we do the same thing, right, across products. And we're going to get 5 times 7 again. We're going to get B uh, times 1. So if you notice, we get the exact same answer which should make sense because the, the length of uh, B should not change as we turn that triangle. So we should get 35 either way we do it. All right, I hope that's helpful. Message me anytime with questions.